Alrighty, quick backstory. So, I am currently on Five Nights at Freddy's 4, but in Five Nights at Freddy's 4, a main, uh, a main concept of the game, I can't think of the word, a main mechanic, there we go, of the game, is you have to listen for sound on either side of the door. Um, and it says that it's best to use headphones. I don't have headphones. I know, crazy, right? So, playing FNAF 4 without headphones was kind of really hard for me. Because I can only have my volume on the TV up a certain amount. You know, neighbors and a child and things like that. So, I decided that until I get headphones, I'm going to go ahead and move on with the series. So here we are at Five Nights at Freddy's sister location. Or Five Nights at Freddy's 5, technically. But I have never played this game before. I have no idea what this game will be like. I feel like each one of the Five Nights at Freddy's has been different. So we'll see what Five Nights at Freddy's sister location is like. Let's get into it. Welcome to the first day of your exciting new career. Whether you were approached at a job fair, read our ad in screws, bolts, and hairpins, or if this is the result of a dare, we welcome you. I will be your personal guide to help you get started. I'm a Model 5 of the Handyman's Robotics and Unit Repair System, but you can call me Hand Unit. Your new career promises challenge, intrigue, and endless janitorial opportunities. Please enter your name as seen above the keypad. This cannot be changed later, so please be careful. It seems that you had some trouble with the keypad. I see what you were trying to type, and I will auto-correct it for you. One moment. Welcome, Eggs Benedict. You can now open the elevator using that bright, red, and obvious button. Let's get to work. Allow me to fill this somewhat frightening silence with some light-hearted banter. Due to the massive success and even more so the unfortunate closing of Freddy Fazbear's Pizza, it was clear that the stage was set, no pun intended, for another contender in children's entertainment. Unlike most entertainment venues, our robotic entertainers are rented out for private parties during the day, and it's your job to get the robots back in proper working order before the following morning. You are now in the primary control module. It's actually a crawl space between the two front showrooms. Now, let's get started with your daily tasks. View the window to your left. This is the Ballora Gallery party room and dance studio, encouraging kids to get fit and enjoy pizza. Let's turn on the light and see if Bellora is on stage. Press the blue button on the elevated keypad to your left. Uh-oh, it looks like Bellora doesn't feel like dancing. Let's give her some motivation. Press the red button now to administer a controlled shock. Maybe that will put the spring back in her step. Let's check the light again. Excellent. Ballora is feeling like her old self again and will be ready to perform again tomorrow. Now view the window to your right. This is the Funtime Auditorium, where Funtime Foxy encourages kids to play and share. Try the light. Let's see what Funtime Foxy is up to. Looks like Funtime Foxy is taking the day off. Let's motivate Funtime Foxy with a controlled shock.
Let's try another control shock. Looks like Funtime Foxy is in perfect working order. Great job! In front of you is another vent shaft. Crawl through it to reach the Circus Gallery control module. Motion trigger, Circus Gallery vent. On the other side of the glass is Circus Baby's auditorium. Let's check the light and see what Baby is up to. Looks like a few of the lights are out, but we can fix that later. Let's encourage Baby to cheer up with a controlled shock. Let's try another controlled shock. Let's try another controlled shock. Great job, Circus Baby. We knew we could count on you. That concludes your duties for your first night on the job. We don't want you to leave overwhelmed. Otherwise, you might not come back. Please leave using the vent behind you, and we'll see you again tomorrow. Motion trigger, circus gallery. Another day, another dramatic entry in the lives of Vlad and his distressed mistress. Where will they go? What will they do? All of that and more happening now. Clara, I tell you, the baby isn't mine. Count, I tell you that it is. You're the only vampire I've ever loved. And the baby turns his bottles into powdered milk. That doesn't mean anything. He sleeps on the ceiling fan. Upright or upside down? What does it matter? You need to be part of your son's life. I'm an old man, Clara. I can't be a father. Well, then at least pay your child support, you deadbeat. Will Vlad and his distressed mistress find common ground? Tune in next time.